I'm back with another Cajun dish today on the menu. We're having shrimp stew. Here's what we're going to need today. I have some shrimp stock, homemade. I guess it's about a pint. One pound of shrimp peeled and deveined. One whole onion, half a bell pepper, and one stalk of celery diced up. In a white bowl, I've got two medium potatoes cut in half inch chunks. We're gonna need a little bit of tomato paste, some roux. I'm using store-bought roux, but if you wanna make your own, I'll leave a card at the top. You can watch the video on that. And some Cajun seasoning. Today is Tony's. And what's not in here are four eggs that are in a pot boiling. So let's start cooking. We're gonna start with a pan on medium high that's already been warming. Add a little olive oil in there to saute the veggies. All right, now you can see they're starting to turn brown a little bit. I'm gonna turn this down to medium low. It's four on my gas stove, about three and a half to four. Then we're gonna add some root, savoirs. When you first get it, it's got all on the top. I usually just dump that out. And then take some thin slices and put it in your pot. It'll dissolve easier. Watch how this works. You want a good two heaping tablespoons. If you scoop it out in small bits, it's easier to dissolve. get this roux hot. Make sure you turn the fire down so it doesn't burn. The scorching on the bottom is not bad. That's all going to make a good gravy. But at the same time, all those onions and bell peppers are flavoring that roux. This is untraditional. But watch how it works out. The next thing that's untraditional for Cajun cooking is we're going to add a little bit of tomato paste in there, about a tablespoon. It'll give it a good richness, a little background flavor, but you want to fry that down too. Alright, we don't want to cook this down too much. It's going to start burning. We don't want to smoke up the house. You see that bottom getting that crust on it? Now's about the time. You can add your stock or even water if you're going to add water. But we're going to add the frozen shrimp stock in here. Let that thaw out. Now that's melted, I'm going to go ahead and add two more cups of water. I'm going to bring this up to a ball. Once it comes to a ball, once it comes to a ball, I'm going to lower it down to a low simmering ball and let that cook down some. 
now we have a good ball going I'm just going to scrape that make sure nothing's sticking I'm going to add two more cups of water to this and I'm going to let that roux cook down for a while so all those flavors meld I want everything to get together be happy and we're going to season it up and because some people think I don't measure stuff but I don't but here look it's one tablespoon of Tony's boom Probably gonna turn this down to a medium and just let it simmer. Barely a rolling ball for about 20 minutes and let that roof develop with all those flavors in there and let those onions and bell peppers break down. About 20 minutes later, and here we have it. Good thick roof vegetables are almost broken down completely but you can see on the side of the pan right there how much it dropped down now we're gonna add two more cups of water drop those eggs in there and we're gonna drop the potatoes in there Gonna do a little taste test on this roux. See what we need. Mm, 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 mm. Needs a little bit of salt and a little bit more seasoning. So this time we're gonna add about half a tablespoon. It's about half, don't you think? About half. I'm gonna bring this up to a simmer, let it cook a few minutes and then we'll dump the shrimp. After eight minutes, we're gonna check this. Nothing sticking. I have been stirring it to make sure, but we wanna check the potatoes. How tender is that? Oh yeah, there you go. Now's the time to add the shrimp. We don't want to cook them shrimp too long. We're going to bring this back up to a simmer. Probably two or three minutes, then we'll check it. But it's just about done. Make sure you stir that a couple of times. We don't want nothing sticking. Oh yeah. After five minutes, check that, make sure it ain't sticking. It shouldn't be, but shrimp is done. It's time to eat. Time to eat. Oh yeah, look at that egg, soaked up all that shrimp gravy. Oh yeah, that's gonna be good. You can believe that. Let's make a plate. We got a plate of some rice. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to dig in that. Put some gravy on that. Potatoes. Some shrimps. Oh yeah, put a bunch of that gravy on there. You don't want no dry rice. We'll get us an egg. There it is, kids. Look at all them shrimps. How you can complain about that? 